It was the early summer of 2014 when I released the vision that God had given me, not only for London Chapel, but for the state of Georgia, where young people from all over the state would come together and would take place in empowerment sessions and amazing worship services. The Refill Youth Conference is nothing to take lightly because it has literally changed lives. But we decree and we declare that this money that it will open, it will open doors. That poverty tried to creep up even in your mind. Chaotic situations, but I pray God that God will give you peace. And that which you are seeking, says the Lord, it shall be easier than before. In the name of Jesus. Abuse that could have happened to us. Molestation. Hurt. Self hate. Maybe it was your mama. Your daddy, your auntie, your uncle, or cousin. It could have been anything that happened in life. Maybe it was a situation. <coughs> Maybe it was a foster. Maybe your mama didn't want you. It was no good. Starting over here. Uh, trust. Trust? What you mean? Talk to me a little bit about that. Like, if you're on your phone, for example, and they like ask you questions, mm -hmm. that's kind of, that's like annoying. I don't want I don't want y'all to mess up your clothes. Do, do this for me. Put the trash bag over your head and just so that way you don't mess your clothes up. Okay. Okay. Wow. This is gonna be funny, y'all. Probably just gonna be funny. Love does not hurt. Love does not hurt. Love does not hurt others. So loving is the same as obeying all the laws. Romans 13 and 10. And if you'll be honest with yourself. There is something within you that may be empty. Mm. Don't nobody know but you and God. But like, I'm gonna give y'all my number at the end. I, I should only see eight hot dogs hey, in the container. I put my ring on it. Mm. Oh, so I feel like it's clear that it's cool. What? It's clear like a weird situation. I didn't know he had yeah. star there. I put my finger all over it. Make, make it work. Make it work. I'm just gonna make all the like rational stuff, but we're playing on them. Right, there you go, there you go. <laughs> so we gotta eat an ice cream too, huh? Oh, I'm not gonna yep. I don't hey, like that. Uh, I hate uh, hot dogs. <laughs> Those who have been working, working in ministry, serving in ministry, and, and working hard, every now and then we get burned out. But refill, you literally come for a drink of God's Holy Spirit. To, sing, to senior citizens, I believe everybody. But I think the bulk of our energy and our resources need to go into younger people. Mm -hmm. but that's just my, that's my viewpoint. And I've seen ministries, uh, Caucasian, African American, just different contexts, and the churches that are healthy and thriving churches, mm -hmm. you name them anywhere in the country, a healthy, thriving church is a church that has a healthy, thriving youth ministry. Mm -hmm. Anywhere you go in America, mm -hmm. any church you name, a healthy, thriving church, I guarantee you, Nine out of ten of those churches is going to be a strong emphasis on youth and young adult ministry. I really enjoyed the session. Pastor Paul Little was amazing. He talked about a lot of things that we believe can relate to multiple generations across many different venues, and it was just something I really enjoyed.
Thank you.